Was Jesus based on the Egyptian god Horus? Many mysticists claim Jesus never existed. It was just a copy of the deity Horus. They claim there are several parallels which prove this, such as Horus was born of a virgin Isis on December 25th in a cave. A star in the east announced his birth, and he was visited by three wise men. He had an earthly father named Seb, which translates to Joseph. He was baptized by Anup the Baptizer. He had 12 disciples. He performed miracles, like walking on water, and raised El Osiris from the dead. He gave a sermon on the mount, was crucified between two thieves, buried for three days, and was resurrected. He was called Christ, Anointed One, the Way, the Truth, and the Light, Messiah, Son of Man, and many other titles that are applied to Jesus. So it is pretty clear the story of Jesus is just a myth copied from the deity Horus. Well, that might be true if any of these claims about Horus were in fact true. The fact is most of this nonsense is a lie, and we can't find it anywhere in ancient Egyptian literature. First off, Horus's mother Isis was not a virgin, and was actually married to Horus's father, Osiris, and she is shown in depictions as a falcon hovering over an erect Osiris. There is no reason to think Isis was a virgin, as most Egyptologists do not even claim this. One legend even has Isis sleeping with the dead body of Osiris, and Horus was conceived from that. So there is no reason to think Horus was born of a virgin. There is also no evidence Horus was born in a cave, let alone a manger. James Fraser says Horus was born in a swamp, and there is no evidence of a star in the east or three wise men. Let's also remember in the Gospels, it doesn't say three wise men visited Jesus. It says an untold amount of magi visited Christ after his birth, but it never says three. As for December 25th, this also cannot be confirmed. One reference has Horus being born in November, whereas Plutarch says Horus was said to have been born around the winter solstice, but there is no evidence for the 25th in particular. Also, Jesus was never confirmed to have been born on December 25th. It was just an estimate based on early calculations, but never confirmed or written in the New Testament. Seb was never said to be Horus's earthly father. In fact, Seb was a god, the god of the earth, or the earth itself and there is no linguistic connection to the name of Joseph. Some references say Seb was the father of Osiris, not Horus. There is no Egyptian scholar who has ever heard of Anup the Baptizer. This was just made up out of thin air by mysticists. Horus was never said to have 12 disciples. Some legends say he had four, and some just say he had an untold amount. Horus did perform miracles, but that would be expected from any deity. As for walking on water, there is no evidence of this. He also didn't raise Osiris from the dead. Osiris didn't come back to life, but remained in the underworld to serve as god of the dead. Plus, there is no evidence Osiris was ever referred to with the prefix El. This is just not true in Egyptian mythology. There is no evidence Horus gave a sermon on the mount, no evidence he was crucified, let alone between two thieves, no evidence he was buried, and no evidence he was resurrected. He was never called Christ, Anointed One, The Way, The Truth, and The Light, or any of these titles commonly associated with Jesus. Modern mysticists have simply lied, or lack any ability to do accurate research, because all of these supposed claims about Horus simply do not exist in Egyptian mythology. And until these mysticists provide actual original source evidence for these claims, there is no reason to believe them. So since that is the case, there is no evidence Jesus was a myth based on Horus.